We all come from the same people. We all come from the same thing. We all are the same thing. There is no separation. There's no separation between me and you. There's no separation between the Polish, the German, the Italians. There's no separation between the English and the Brazilians. We're all the same. We're all one. That's why most of the people are white with blue eyes and racism happens so much here. Like, it kills me that racism still happens, really. It's like... I, I, I don't know. I lived in I lived in multicultural places. I travel a lot. My friends are from everywhere. I love getting to know people that are different from me. I like change. I like difference. And I don't understand why other people don't. But I'm not going to hold it against them. I'm not going to lower my vibration because of their hatred and their nonsense and their beliefs. Why would I do that to myself? Blonde delicious. Korea in Tianjin, okay, Chuji's awesome. I think Trump is gonna win for a landslide. What do you think about him? I am not following the election at all. I have no interest in the news. I have no interest in the scaremongering that goes on in the media. I have absolutely no interest. It does not affect my life at all. I don't care if Trump wins. I don't care if Trump wins. I don't care if Trump loses. Uh, I have no interest in it. Like our reality is what we choose for it to be. And I stopped, in fact, I have never watched the news in my whole life. And I remember when I, when I was a banker, when I used to work in finance, people, um, people told me I should read the news for my job. You need to know what's happening. You need to know what's going on with the markets. And I was like, I absolutely do not. I do not. And you need to know what's going on in the world so that you can sound intelligent and you can have conversations with people. You do not. I'm very intelligent and I do not know who Trump is even up against because it makes no difference to me whatsoever. I don't live in the US. Sorry, that was a bit of a rant. Komisishama Tusutaki. English. Is that right? I love literally all the humans. I don't care about race, countries, or anything. Exactly. I call them humans. My the link, the tagline in my bio is like transforming humans. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you call yourself male, female, or in between. I don't care if you fancy boys or girls. I don't care if you have the face of a woman and the genitalia of a man. I don't care. I care about souls and vibrations and intent. The only people I don't like are people that want to hurt other people. And I still hold love for them. I still forgive them. I don't like them because they're hurting other people. <laughs> Anthony, are you still here or are you back? Because you've been very quiet. Um, but the media is the worst. It's absolutely the worst. The media, I don't know who controls the media, whether it's like the Black Rock Vanguards or the governments. Um, probably the Black Rock Vanguards, right? Um, but the media is all controlled. They only, like, the media and schools are, like, our whole problem, right? Because we are being taught what to believe. We're being taught to be separate. We're being taught that one side is right and the other side is wrong. We're being taught to hate each other. When Brexit was happening in the UK, um, I was living in Australia and I have never voted in the UK, um, but I wanted to vote for Brexit because I had an opinion. I, I um, studied finance and economic, uh, economics and business and so I had um, a view on Brexit based on my own understanding of the financial situation of the UK 
and other benefits that I could see. I voted for Brexit. I flew home for a trip, for a holiday, the week after Brexit, and uh, I had no idea how much hatred there was for people that voted for Brexit because the media had launched a campaign in the UK to say that if you vote for Brexit, you are racist. You want foreigners out of Britain. The media had created this lie as a means of making people vote the other way, right? Whoever controls the newspapers wanted Britain to stay in the Euro, the, in Europe. And so I got a lot of hate because everybody, it, like it, the election was a week ago, everybody was talking about it, right? Everyone's like, who did you vote? Which way did you vote? Did you vote for or against? Did you vote for Brexit? And I say, yeah, I voted for Brexit. Like, I think it's best for the UK. And I would be hated. Like, you are racist. You don't like people from other countries. And I'd be like, I live in another country. <laughs> like, what? And I had no idea, but it was all just the media. It was the media. They had made up all of this stuff. Oh, I'm here. I love listening to you. You've been here this whole time. <laughs> love you. Love Brazil. <laughs> See, Beatriz, your fellow Portuguese. I have a dream to visit a lot of countries. Scotland, England, Canada, Angola. I don't even know where Angola is. Where's that? India. It's in Africa. India, Egypt, and Japan. I have a lot of those countries on my list too. I want to go to Japan, Egypt, India, and Canada. I've already been to Scotland and England, and I had never heard of Angola. Um, so I want to visit all of those too. I'm like, it's crazy that I've never been to Egypt. Everybody in the UK flies to Egypt because it's like four hours, it's not that far. At the time I thought Brexit was good, but now with all the crisis, it seems otherwise. The crisis, eh, it's the media again, isn't it? It's the media causing the crisis. So we are continually told, oh yeah, Dubai is amazing. I've been to Dubai a few times because it was on my way home from, home to the UK from Australia, so I used to stop there. Dubai is amazing. I could definitely live there for like six months. It's crazy hot, so maybe just six months. Um, but the media keeps telling us that we're in a crisis, doesn't it? And that everything is falling apart and that the prices for everything must be increased. In the UK, energy prices have increased, I don't know how many times, probably like five times or something, but my mum pays about five and a half thousand pounds a year for electricity, where she used to pay like 1,000 something pounds a year for electricity. So it's gone up like four times. And they are being told in the UK it's because there is a lack of resources. The coal or whatever it is that we need to make electricity. Um, <laughs> this is when you can tell I don't watch the news. Uh, is in short supply, we can't get it, so we must increase your prices, right? So everybody in the UK believes that electricity is very expensive everywhere in the world because the resources are limited. That's happening in a few other countries as well. Australia um, has increased a lot, not the same as the UK, but a lot. In Brazil, the electricity is very cheap by UK standards. So where my mum is now paying about five and a half thousand pounds per year, if you convert what we pay per year into pounds, we are paying about 250 pounds per year. So it's about 20 times less, 22 times less. So the problem is not that the cost of the resources has gone up. The problem is that the media is lying to people and people are accepting it. And then the electricity companies announced that they've made like mind-boggling billion dollar profits and the British people are like they don't seem to find that weird like record-breaking profits because the prices have gone up 